So we're gonna go into Mission Control and grab our first couple of contracts. Um, these first two, I always grab the same ones, which is simply to gather scientific data from Kerbin. That will get me 6,400 curb bucks, a little bit of science, a little bit of reputation. It's easy to sort of forget about reputation, but reputation does increase the number of contracts and the quality of the contracts apparently that you get. So I'm gonna accept that one. And I'm also going to launch our first vessel. We're gonna do both of those at the same time. Okay, so there we go. All right, so let's get ourselves into the vehicle assembly building, which is the building right here in the middle. And let's build ourselves our first vessel. And I don't know about you, but I always build the same thing when I get started. You, yeah, yeah, Werner, we know. Werner's telling us stuff that we don't care about. Um, you don't have a whole lot of parts when you get started, so you are kind of limited. You can, you have a choice between the um, KV-1 Onion reentry module or the Mark 1 Command Pod. They're really just difference in styles. There's marginal difference in their numbers, but they're functionally the same. They hold a single Kerbal. I'm gonna go with this one just because I'm used to it. You can, by the way, just make your first mission, just simply take this, put a Kerbal in it, launch it, and that counts as your first vessel. I mean, you can do that if you so like. Um, I am not going to do that. I'm gonna actually build something that's going to fly. Uh, if this thing is going to fly, we need to make sure that it can come down safely, and the easiest way to do that is to simply go under Utility, where you will find the Mark 16 parachute. So. Mark 16 parachute goes there on the top. By the way, uh, you might be noticing textures look different. That is the restock mod. Also what restock does is give you some more options when it comes to texturing. I actually start to lose track of which of these options are stock and which of these are, are restock. Um, I don't know, but restock gives you more. I, I'm gonna go with that white one, I kinda like that. Okay, so now we need to build something that can fly. So under engines, we only have here the RT-5 Flea Solid Fuel Booster. We're gonna stick that there on the bottom. And I'm gonna rotate this. The default orientation when this comes out of the VAB is for the top of the capsule, which is always where the hatch is, to be pointing towards the south. But I'm gonna actually roll this using the Q and E keys that way. Uh, now the key default is going to be, this is going to be pointing to the west, the hatch. So I'm going to pitch forward to go over the water and I don't know, then it's right side up. So that, that it's up to you whether you want to do that or not. Oh, I should give this thing a name too. This is uh, our first flight. There we go. Okay, so we've got that. That This also has a couple of textures. Not much. I can just change the stripe, but here, we'll put a nice orange stripe on there. Okay, and we're also gonna do some science. Remember the name of the game is collecting science to unlock that tech tree. So, uh, it does change drag on a few things Richard is saying, really? I didn't, I did, I, I always used to install Restock with Restock Plus, and Restock Plus most certainly does change things. It adds gimbling to these engines and stuff like that. Uh, I didn't think Restock alone changed anything, but I could be wrong, I could be wrong. If I am, I'll, I'm sorry and I'll uninstall it, but <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I wanted to make this game as pretty as I can. Anyway, getting back to science, science. The game of the game is science. Um, the only, if I go into the science tab, I do have these guys. These are coming from a mod. These are the only actual additional parts I get, which are coming from a mod called Kerbal Engineer. I said I was going to be, I'm not going, I'm just flat out not going to use this until I really kind of, really it really has an advantage it doesn't at this point so i'm just going to ignore these parts it does give me some extra vessel stats down here which is really nice that i can watch or hide away it also gives me an extra if i click here on the mod thing uh extra building information which is great when you get into more complicated crafts but i'm not going to look at it here uh we'll do everything just stock with this one but i do have the familiar mystery goo containment unit so I'm not gonna put a scientist on this thing. Let's put on the snap so we can see it. This science equipment can be run just once. A scientist can then reset it to allow it to go again, but I'm not gonna put a scientist in here because I wanna have a pilot. So I'm only gonna be able to run each of these once. The solution then is, well, if you can only run it once, just have more than one of them. So I should count how many of these I'm gonna want. So 
each situation is going to be a new science experiment I can collect. So we're going to start off sitting on the launch pad. So that's going to be one situation. Then we're going to be flying uh, in the air. And so uh, what a low flight, low, I don't know what they exactly call it, but low flight in Kerbin, that's going to be a second situation. And then we're going to end up splashing down in the water if everything goes well. And that'll be a third situation. So I'm going to want to perform this three times. So I'm going to put on three of them. I'm going to click the uh, hit R on my keyboard to switch it to mirror symmetry mode. And then I'm going to put on two-way mirror symmetry because that will put them nicely like that. There we go. So there is our two um, science things. So this thing's actually pretty much, that's pretty much all I'm going to do. Um, now, having said all that, there are two things that you really need to consider with every single rocket that you build. In fact, every single craft you build, planes, rockets, whatever. And the people that get themselves into trouble is usually because they've forgotten one of these two things. Now, as the rockets get more complicated, you need more things. But for, for everything, these two things you need to think about. What is the aerodynamic stability of the thing? So you get that by comparing the center of mass. So this is where the center of mass of the vessel is. And the aerodynamic overlay, which gives you the center of pressure. For a rocket, you want that center of pressure as far below, the lower the better, that center of mass. Here you can see that center of pressure is above where the center of mass is. So that will make this rocket unstable. You fix that by going into aerodynamics and grabbing some tail fins. We only have one, the basic fin. I'm going to put on three of them. So I'm going to go out of mirror symmetry by pushing R. I'm going to push X to go to three-way symmetry, and we're going to put on three of them like that and you can see that that brings down that center of lift down like that i can use the translate tool let's uh take the snap off click on this and i can even bring that center of lift even further down by simply dragging those lower like that okay so that's going to make this rocket more stable so that's one thing you want to think about always with all your vessels what's the aerodynamic stability of the situation at least for stuff that's going to be in an atmosphere of the thing the second thing you want to think about is thrust to weight ratios. This is the one I think most people ignore. I guess the third thing is your staging. Uh, I want to turn the engine on first. Let's do that. So the engine's going to come on first, and then our parachute's going to come on afterwards. Okay, so thrust to weight ratio. So I'm going to open up this little tab, and I'm going to look down here at TWR. 6.34 that means that the acceleration of this craft is 6.34 times the force of gravity it's huge that's a lot that's going to be and, and, and crafts that even if they don't explode on you they're tougher to control if they're accelerating like crazy you might find it entertaining but if you want something easy to fly bring this center or thrust to weight ratio down to something reasonable. Now don't bring it down to below one because if it's below one, your vessel won't even go up. So I'm going to right click on my flea booster, bringing up this little context menu here and I'm gonna play with the thrust limiter. And as I bring it down, notice the thrust to weight ratio goes down. It's now 2.6. Um, I'm gonna, I don't know, we'll find something reasonable for it. It doesn't have to be uh, 1.52, that's reasonable, okay? Uh, anything in that range would be fine for that one. And so there we go, there's our vessel, that's all it is. This thing's going to fly absolutely, it should, absolutely well, famous last words. Um, one of the mods I want to show people, actually, before I get started, uh, this is one of the UI things I added in. The stock contract window here is I, I find it a little fiddly and frustrating. So I, I, I mean, it works perfectly fine, but what I like is this guy here. This is the contracts plus window, especially when you start getting lots of contracts, it gives you a, the full information about the contract, uh, including all the rewards and penalties and everything like that. It gives you abilities to organize them into missions. It's awesome. So I'm gonna use the contracts plus window. Now one great thing in the settings here, if I go into settings, I can replace the stock toolbar, toolbar with the Contracts Plus window. Close that. So now every time I hit the stock toolbar, it's the Contract Plus window. My stock toolbar has gone away. So if you're watching this and going, why does that look different? That's why. Okay, let's launch. We're doing it. Who's in there, by the way? Probably Jeb. 
Jebediah is in there. That's great. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here, let's 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 do this. So, actually, let's get some science going, and then we'll do this. So, science. First of all, we do have the crew report. These are, that's an easy one to forget. All the capsules have crew reports. One point five science. We're just going to collect that, uh, and then Jebediah is going to do an EVA, and he is going to. I guess he's supposed to be black on the back. <laughs> he's going to collect that data. That's really important to collect that crew report because what it ends up doing is freeing the crew report experiment so that I can perform it again a little later in this mission. Jeb can also do an EVA report. That's going to be 2.4 science. Notice there's also the transmit uh, option, but I can't transmit because I don't have any antennas on this thing, so transmitting is not an option. So there we go. We've got ourselves a bit of science. We're going to board. Boop, like that. And then we're going to grab one of these mystery goos. We're going to observe that mystery goo for a further three science. That's great. Uh, we'll collect that with the rocket. Let's just do this. So, SAS on. You can increase the throttle if you like, but it doesn't matter because an SRB has no throttle control. So, we're just going to do it. So, I'm just going to punch it. And off we go. And I have no sound. I just realized I didn't have my headphones on. And I'm going to just go, oh no, let's, let's, whoop, 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 I'm messing myself up. Pitching over towards, doing my best. You can hear Chatterer going in the background, that's another mod. The full list of mods, by the way, is down there in the description. So I'm just, I should have started pitching earlier, but that's okay. Let's do another one of these. Observe that. Here we have a mystery goo flying at Kerbin. Grab that one. And we are now out of fuel. So we are just now on a kind of a ballistic trajectory going along this way. You can see these waypoints. That's coming from the waypoint manager mod. That is this guy. Um, it It's nice that we can see. It puts some nice waypoints there. But you can actually go into settings and make it so that here's all waypoints are. I only want active waypoints. So now I don't see those waypoints. There we go. All right, we are coming down. Oh, I should do a crew report. Crew report here over the water. Well done. 3.5, okay. Uh, let's pop that chute. And we can now turn off our SAS. There we go. Yeah, and I was thinking, I was, I was looking at my, my previous streams that I have done and noticing that uh, some, I, I really go fast in those. I mean, the last time I did a stock live stream was for the uh, planet landing marathon. I started in science mode and um, and landed on every planet eventually. And in that one, come on, shoot, open up. There we go. <laughs> in that one, uh, I was going in orbit on my second mission, which is ridiculous. So I'm not going to do that. Oh, I cannot EVA. I was going to EVA my Kerbal, but I can't because uh, I have to update the astronaut complex to EV EVA them off of the shore. Where am I getting those mods, asks Christopher. I am getting the mods from CCAN. I always install pretty much, unless I, have, I don't have any other option, I install all my mods from CCAN. So now it's just, we can time warp a little bit. Get a little closer to the water. There we go. And I'm going to put on SAS. I'm going to pitch forward just a little bit so that when this hits the water, you know, I can take off. It's it's floating with all these dudes on the top. I just wanted to do that. Okay, so we're going to observe our last mystery goo here while we're bobbing up and down. That's four science like that. EV, uh, Jeb can EVA. Whoa, hang on there, Jeb. <laughs> And he can do another EVA report here from the water. He can also collect that crew report that I did in flight. That frees up the crew report experiment so that I can do one more crew report for my last two science. So, and that pretty much exhausts all the science that I'm going to do with this thing. And we're going to recover. 31.6 science, that's 43 science altogether. I can't do a surface sample, Richard asks. What about the surface sample? I cannot do surface samples until I update the astronaut complex. So no surface samples, I think that's what I gotta do. Is it, no, it's the R&D center you have to up, yes. Yes, uh, R&D Center you have to get to update. So I need to get some more money before I can do surface samples. So that was all I could do.